Good evening. Welcome to Jackal at Jewish Activity Center of LA. I wanted to, my name is Arie. I wanted to introduce myself and who we are as an organization because I see a lot of uh, faces who are uh, new and people that have come in for the first time. Um, one thing you'll learn about me is you only have to meet me once. Now I only have to meet you once to recognize you. And uh, and I do, I, I, I really do value every person that comes in here because it's it's special. We're doing a lot of amazing things. We, we've only been around for about 14 months and the Jewish Activity Center of LA, Jack Love, which is our lo new logo behind us, um, did 131 events last year for the Jewish community and we're on target this year to do more than 225 events that are already scheduled, not including what we pick up and we pick up events almost every day. So. Um, the kind of events we do, uh, we cater to singles, couples, families, and children. We're really, we've got programs for everybody on every, um, during any day of the week. For example, Wednesday nights, we have a uh, beautiful young adults sheer. It's a motivational sheer, because when you're a young adult, that really gets you going. Um, and a mixer afterwards, so you can see the social component where you're taking tour and you're adding the social component, and that's what the activity center is all about. And then Thursday night, we have a much more serious sheer, followed by a mixer. And then Friday night, every week, and you should take note of this, I see there's a few familiar faces, a lot of familiar faces, Friday night, um, we do a beautiful traditional kiddush and a full catered meal, and then an oneg that lasts until 2 a.m. So we can imagine in this space, the lights down. It's really amazing. It's a great experience. And you have a choice, really, on Shabbat. You can go stay home. You can have guests. You can go to someone else's house. You can go to the synagogue. Never has there been like a real Shabbat lounge. That's what it feels like. It's an amazing experience. Nice. So um, we've added now. For the last couple of months, we've just made it official this past month, this past week, the um, Saturday Oneg. So Saturday Oneg is for anybody in the community um, to come in for lunch. And then an Oneg, you can see there's kegs out right now and there's wine and there's all kinds of beverages. Well, that's pretty much the way it is around here. We have, on Saturday, you can come at 12.30 or 12 o'clock, enjoy a nice lunch with my special teriyaki lamb chalant and a full spread, and that goes until Mincha, until about 6.30. So it's, it's a beautiful day. We're here for the community. Sundays, every Sunday, from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m., we have a kids' indoor playground. All of the furniture comes out, and we put two bouncy houses in, we put padded flooring, and games, and toys, and sometimes clowns, sometimes face painting. It's really beautiful. You can see I'm excited about it. You know, what's interesting about this is it's a nonprofit, and I've never done nonprofit work in my life. I've given when I had the chance to give. I've never, really, I've never run a nonprofit. But about a year ago, when I had my technology company, Social Dashboard, I started doing these events. I really started enjoying them. And then on Rosh Hashanah, I woke up and I said, we're having services here, and we're having a really big event here. I don't want to do my work anymore. All I want to do is this. The problem is there's no money in this. You gotta sustain yourself. So I figured out a way. Basically, I live upstairs. I am here 24 seven. Sometimes I leave to go to the grocery store to check the weather. It's about the only time I leave because I'm super committed to being here. And I have a relationship with about 35,000 people that go by that, that window every single day. And we're always working and always putting together programs and events for the Jewish community. I want to say something about this community. I became Baal Tshuva about 15 years ago in Northern California where there were very few Jews and you could barely find a minion anywhere. You'd have to go 25 miles to find a minion. I moved down here and it's, wow. What I found and what we all know is that within a mile left or right here, there's 38 synagogues. There are so many businesses, Jewish businesses and services and shops and stores and restaurants. 
that Pico Robertson now is the most concentration of Jewish businesses, shuls, synagogues, and restaurants outside of Israel and the world. Above New York, Toronto, Chicago, uh, Miami. We're a very special place. But we don't have, I didn't mean to get that loud, but we don't have a community center here. We don't have an activity center for the Jewish community here. And that doesn't make sense to me.